And whose team is this? Is this your team? Or is this your daddy's team? Thanks for listening to the Dad Mode Podcast, common sense parenting in a politically correct world. Here's your host, Andy Carlson. Welcome back to the Dad Mode Podcast, Common Sense Parenting in Politically Correct World. I'm your host, Andy Carlson, at Andy Carlson Show on the Twitter machine. I'm a father. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you're neither their chief, Kimosabi, little man. Let's try and learn something together today. Website is dadmodepod.com. Uh, tweet at us, the show account, at dadmodepod, or use the hashtag dadmode. We're also on Facebook. Yeah, Also on Facebook is Uncle Nick. Hey. Hey, how's it going, Andy? Uh, I'm fantastic. Now, if Nick sounds different... If he sounds better, Whoa, if he sounds more robust and with more headroom, that's because we're actually in the same room because Andy decided to shell out and we actually got some good equipment and now we can be in the same room while recording. With Yay. The, without the echoing. Yay. Is it safe for me to drink uh, my green tea while with the headphones on him? Not yeah, gonna. that's fine. Just don't dump it on the headphones or the mixer. <laughs> so whatever you do, do not walk over here and pour your drink onto the mixer. Uh, so we, we got a beautiful little uh, Behringer X1204 USB mixer, and we got four uh, Audio-Technica uh, cans, uh, the really, really high-end stuff. And it's just in time for Mankato for Purple for the Win and the Viking stuff. And also this, dead mode. Yay. It's very nice. It's very nice. Looks... Uh very simple to operate. And it's good because Nick will come down once a week, have some dinner. We'll do a show. Easy. Hey. Welcome to the suburbs, Nick. Uh, speaking of the suburbs today, we are talking about minivans. You know why? Why, Andy? Tell us why. Because uh, I just bought a minivan. <laughs> oh, just going up in the 90s, I always saw uh, like minivan was such the staple of a mom car um you think it's a sign of the changing of the times uh becoming a dad car now well i think it's evolved from being the the soccer mom grocery getter thing because when i was a kid that's what minivans were and they were like the dodge caravans the ford aerostars those really boxy looking Mm -hmm. uh sons of bitches and it's funny because they have the faux wood grain like not ironically but in 1992 the people at Dodge were like, you know what? That's a good look. I like that. Let's that, get that. That's such a 70s look. <laughs> I, I, I just remember like old school, like VCRs maybe yeah. having that or something. It's just, I don't think it ever, that, that did not look good. And if you want to buy some wood grain and wood grain accessories, do it on Amazon. Dadmodepod.com slash Amazon bookmark it and every time you buy something on amazon which you already do just use that bookmark and we'll get a couple nickels and keep our lights on here uh so back to the vans the i feel like about the time i was a teenager the the shift happened and the minivan was a little bit less of the stigmatized soccer mom blah 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 because well it still happens like yeah i I still get crap on on twitter or from my various show co-hosts like oh you bought a minivan what happened to your balls did did your balls drop off and just like my 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 parents said a minivan growing up i didn't think anything of it and also it was one of the first generation i feel like it happened around 1998 ish 1999 ish where dodge and you know chrysler since they're the same thing uh back when chrysler was a thing uh they're like all right we're gonna Start making these vans nice. We're going to start making these vans have all the luxuries, the DVD players, all the 17,000 cup holders, every single little plug-in that you could ever want. And we're going to make these things rolling luxury mobile homes. Not trailers. Not trailer parks. Luxury mobile homes. That's what they did. Uh, I No, I completely agree. And um, I'm going to say it here live on this podcast. When I was a kid... One of my uh, first cars I ever dreamed of owning was a Dodge <laughs> Well, that's another argument for another day about you pining to own a van. Whoa. That says free rare Pokemon inside. <laughs> it's a, uh, no, oh, Charizard. 
Oh, I was supposed to explain to you what Charizard, Charizard was on the yeah. show. All right, so Nick's an avid Pokemon Go player. I do not play. Uh, but what, what was your story? Oh, um, so living in the Twin Cities, um, parks are the big place to go out and find Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So if listeners who don't know um, what Pokemon Go is, it's an app on the on the yeah. phone. All so the bored. If you're noticing an extreme lot amount of people uh, staring at their phones and People always stare at their phones all the time, but if you're seeing it a lot more than usual at parks, at churches, it's Pokemon Go. And uh, this uh, few nights ago, I was with my roommate. We were out Pokemon hunting at Como Park, and there were a number of kids there. And and, and no, we were not the only adults there. There were a few adults there, too. Um, mm-hmm. All ages, all races, everyone's playing this game in the park. And a couple... Younger guys were uh, trying to be funny, were screaming while running, booking as fast as they could um, across the field, yelling, I got a Charizard. I got a Charizard. I got a Charizard. How about you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clap. And anyways, I, I still don't get it. But the, the bands, uh, because back in the 70s, when oh, I'm trying to think like when bands actually became a part of the culture, because... World War II, probably not a lot of vans rolling around. Like I, I, don't, I, I can't even comprehend. Maybe like the fifties, sixties around then. I was gonna say sixties. Then seventies, of course, was the that's when the van was in vogue. You, you put that thing with shag carpeting from floor to ceiling, and you brought your ladies in the back. Disco. It was yeah. uh, hippie. You know, I always think sixties uh, hippies. Mm. You know, Woodstock. You know, traveling across town, yep. going to San Francisco or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, can you explain a little bit the uh, difference between, like, you know, modern 90s, 2000s, the mm. minivan versus the van? Uh, I think the old school van actually had, uh, like, like a like a superior engine, like a more horsepower um, and probably just had a bigger engine. Okay. And, you know, like a larger chassis, different than that. Uh, so back then it was like still like a man's machine. Like remember Mr. T? Oh yeah. Uh, the A team. A-team. They had the van. Yeah, that was pretty badass. And then I feel like they powered it down so much that it did get stigmatized to the suburban moms and the and the dads with the white shoes and the tucked in shirt into the khaki shorts with the belt and then the cell phones <laughs> on the belt clip. <laughs> Not on the belt clip. Uh, he he's got cat uh, half calf socks. Also drinks half calf coffee. <laughs> Ironically, yeah. Uh, but like the newer vans, some of the stuff are pretty badass. Like the we got a Dodge Grand Caravan, and it's a, uh, it, it's it's just just pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what are some of the features? Do you have automatic doors, uh, sliding doors both sides, or uh, sliding doors both sides, and all, uh, automatic sliding doors both sides, and also on the back. The back. Yeah. Oh, the the rear hatch. Yeah, and it's. Uh, you, on the keypad, just like uh, there's like eight buttons on the key mm-hmm. on the key fob, and so you can open up each door or you can open up the back. You can do whatever you want. Oh, very nice. Okay, yeah. okay. And also, uh, all right. So my parents had a, like a '98 uh, Grand Caravan, and uh, if you wanted to get the third row seat out, you actually had to physically take it out. I remember taking it out. It was like 75 pounds. Uh, this <laughs> one has stow and go seating, so it completely folds down into the back. Oh okay. yeah, and but when the third row seat is up, it's just like a huge like well where you can store stuff. Mm-hmm. It's pretty awesome. Oh, that's nice for uh, groceries and stuff. This is the size of a fifteen hundred dollar a month if you have a roommate Manhattan studio apartment. <laughs> this is basically all right. So it's about eight four. This is basically about thirty five square feet. Of luxury, just rolling down the highway. <laughs> of luxury, and the best thing about it, we didn't have to pay sixty grand for an Escalade. Ah, uh. yeah. Or it's, it's something that I didn't get. I, I never really got to. Is like if you have a kid or two kids live in the suburbs. Oh, you got to get a Yukon. Oh, you got to get a Suburban. Oh, you got to get all that. Well, first off, even a used one like a two thousand eight Suburban. With 150,000 miles on it. It's still going to cost you 15 grand. Wow. And you're going to get nine miles a gallon. So what's the point? It's dumb. 
I'm assuming the gas mileage for a minivan is uh, a lot more. It, it's not bad. Uh, it's like 18 city, 24 highway, which is uh, not. It's not great. It's not terrible. Uh, but our other cars, the hybrids, are kind of spoiled. That gets 40 miles a gallon. It all balances itself out, I guess, economic wise. Yeah, I mean, plus uh, the wife's going to drive the uh, the car back and forth to work since that's the best gas mileage, and then the the van will just sit in the garage and wait until and wait until until it's until the the bad signal comes <laughs> on and be like, <laughs> we have to go to the store, all of us. <laughs> It'll be so easy for hauling too because. Uh, we, we've been doing a lot of home improvement stuff, and usually we, you know, bug one of our friends who has a truck who's like, "Hey, who wants to go to Menards? Need to get some two by fours." But now, stack them up in the van. You you really think this minivan is going to replace the ability of what trucks do? Yeah this this minivan is basically a semi trailer. Like this van can hold thirty two four by eight sheets of plywood. Did you actually match up? No, uh, I'm guesstimating. Yet. Yeah. Yet. Um, how comfortably does it uh, hold the um, the child's, um, I'm assuming, the, with the middle seats is mm-hmm. where uh, Muggsy stays? I'm... Uh, good. Uh, it was really easy, uh, the hooking up of the baby seat, because the oh, it's built for you know, families of oh, kids. So, yep. like, the, the two metal clips yep. where you hook up the baby seat, they're, like, very... Uh, they're very r- front and center. That's good. Whereas That's good. with the our other car, the Camry, you had to like dig into the seat and you had to like finger bang the whole thing and just like, all right, am I in? Is this it? Is this it? Click. Nope. Fine. <laughs> yes. Um, sedans. Uh, I, after experiencing the the roominess of the van, I don't think I could go back. That's what, that's exactly what I was going to uh, ask you. I mean, after. I mean, I, I is minivan number one now? Is it is sedan? Is that going to be your second car? Yeah, probably. Okay. I like I'll use that when I'm going out and doing stuff for the show or just random errands and stuff. Uh, but like we we have another kid or another two kids and hauling sports equipment or uh, running errands and shopping stuff. I mean, you, you can't really beat it. Okay, I agree. Yeah. And the the wife, uh, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned vans. All right, so I grew up with a van. The wife uh, grew up with a van. They bought a, a brand new GMC Gladiator, I, th- I think it was called. Now, this was not a minivan. This was a full-size van. This is talking about uh, a, a big engine. And uh, actually, I, I think the wife is coming down now. I texted her to come down. Oh, by the way, you, you're getting a... Since we're able to be in the same room, and also since we have headset mics, we can look at each other. Now you know exactly what I do when we're recording shows. I'm sitting, I'm texting, I'm looking away, not really paying attention. That's what I do. What was the name of that car? Avalanche? Uh, GMC. GMC Gladiator. I don't know why, why did it say Avalanche? <laughs> like, no, it's Chevy Avalanche. That's the, the one thing that, that's the thing that wants to be an SUV slash truck. Yes. Yeah. Not really sure what it wants to be. All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm on my phone right now trying to look up. Oh, that is a beast. Van. That that's, is a beast. That, oh my god, you can like haul livestock in there <laughs> and and take it to the butcher to slaughter it. No, see, that's it. it had it what? was. It, it's like a bridge between past and present for vans because it wasn't like quite the '70s shagging van. Oh my god, that's yeah. like luxury though. You that's can like, pimp those things out. That's insane. Yeah, it was a nice van and. Those vans have carpet from floor to ceiling, not not shag, but carpet, velourish, and also they have curtains. I, I'm not talking about car curtains. I'm talking about like curtain friggin' curtains, and that's what they rolled around in. And you know they have a lot of good memories. They went on a whole bunch of road trips uh, all around the country riding in that van, and that's what you get to do because you don't want to take a road trip. You're, you're jamming in a car. You may as well fly. Right, if you're going to be in that sort of close quarters, but I, I enjoyed having the van as a kid, uh, even though I was an only kid, because I can just like lay down the back and take a nap, or like spread eagle if I wanted to. Oh, speak of the devils, we have a cameo, little Margaret, and also the wife, and I'm going to hook up the wife's uh, headset here. 
And we're actually, we're going to three-way this mofo. Yo. Nick, I didn't know um, if you expected coming over this evening that you're going to be part I, of a three-way. I, I did not know that. <gasps> and we're hooking this up because we're awesome. And this is really good podcast. Well, he's very quiet and well-behaved <laughs> in the studio. Yeah. Also, it's crazy. This is the first time that Crystal's ever been on any of my shows, and also probably the first time that she's ever listened to one because <laughs> she she can't avoid it now. That's a lot. I've listened to your podcast before. <laughs> Which one? Uh, when it was purple. Lies. When it was purple for the win, was it? I don't know. All you did something on dance of the lies. I listened to it. Yeah. So tell us about. The minivan and the greatness of it. That's a leading question. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I drove it for the first time today. It is pretty great. Lots, lots more room. And nice to have the big sliding door to get Muggsy in and Drove it for the first time. And now we were talking about your uh, GMC Gladiator. The beast. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and what was that like going on trips? Because that thing was awesome. Well... I always got the whole back seat to myself. Yeah, because you smelled as a child. Yes. Yes, of course. Whoa. <laughs> no, because Matt always got a sit shotgun. Your brother. Yes, my brother. Okay. Kayla got car sick and couldn't ride in the back. Your so younger she, sister. My little sister. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, so, oh, she, so the way, way back. Okay. I sat in the way back. But ah. it was okay because back then, you know, you could just like lay down and nobody cared. Yeah. Just like lay down on the seat and take a nap. Now... When Muggsy's a little bit older, and say she's got some younger brothers and sisters that are in the car seats in the middle, would you will you allow her to lay prone, nap style, in the back? No. Why not? <laughs> not safe. I was always buckled in, but you can you could lay still lay down. <laughs> oh, those so. middle belts. Yeah. Are you supposed to eat that, Marker? What are you doing? What do you got? Give me that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Margaret is in here as well, and she's she sees things. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is actually Margaret's first uh, appearance on the show too. Hey, I'm looking at pictures on on my phone here. I typed in uh, GMC um, Gladiator. Well, this is Ventura, but does it, does it look this nice? It, there was a nice seat. It I, was not that nice. Oh. <laughs> it was not leather seats. Uh, uh, Nick, I, I'm guessing that those are aftermarket upgrades. That's ins- like you could really pimp some of those things out. Can you do it to the minivan? I mean, could we? You I mean, could, theoretically. I mean, it was nice. Like even like the back seat folded all the way down into like oh. a bed. Yeah. Like you could sleep in that thing. What's the longest uh, road trip you guys taken? Uh, we went to Tennessee in it. We went to Arizona. Did you go to Texas? Yeah, but that was before we had the van. That was in a car. What? Oh damn. Yeah. Um, I think Tennessee and Texas. Uh, Arizona were the furthest. How far uh, could you guys do it? Like in a straight, like straight shot? Could you just like, like are the are vans a really good long distance? Like, could you go for like long periods, or do you have to stop every few hours to like cool it off or something? Uh, <laughs> cool it off. <laughs> what is it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. down the road. I don't, I don't think know. That's it's a not good like road a road mortar, trip. Nick. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, you, you have to stop to you have to stop to use the bathroom, but oh. that's about it. Okay. Oh my! Why would you have to cool? There's it enough room in our minivan to put in a like a airplane. Absolutely not. Bathroom? Why not? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> put, let's put in a bathroom into the. Into you can the get minivan. one of those portable uh, camping toilets. There you go. That could work. Absolutely not. <gasps> no. I can see the plague on the back. That's gross. <laughs> But either way, I'm excited. Now, when I approached you on the idea of, hey, we should buy a minivan because A. You did not. Yeah, I did. No. Because I, no. I was like, A, we're in the suburbs, and B, it would be really funny. No. All right, so how did the process go of us buying a larger vehicle? I think I brought it up. I said our next vehicle should be a bigger vehicle. We initially started talking about SUVs, mm-hmm. and then it went up to a van. And then you I, got really excited about the idea. I feel like it's a little cliche and played out because, yeah, Margaret agrees too. Uh, well, you get you got to get the SUV. We were talking about the Chevy Suburban earlier, and just like, okay, yeah, it's not true on that. Yeah, and like some of these, um, what are they called? The 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 SUVs that are smaller. Like, there's a name for them. <laughs> she matches the tablecloth. Uh, like a convert? No, it's not conversion. 
We're talking, mm-hmm. we're talking like like the Duango Say size. Or? No, no, no. It's uh, like Hyundai Santa Fe. Or oh, like the like the station wagon, but not or, like the no, not it's like the upgraded station. Oh, don't lick the mic. Like, like the new Ford Escape, like a, a SUV crossover. Crossovers, yeah. okay. So people buy those, thinking that it's got good horsepower, good mi- good gas mileage, not particularly, and also it, it's got as, just as much room as a sedan, mm-hmm. and all it does is have a little bit of room in the back. Doesn't have room, uh, third row seating. Can only fit five mofos in that car, mm-hmm. and it is a car. It's basically what it is. Mm-hmm. It's basically a car with a larger chassis, and then they call it an SUV, except it's a crossover. Yeah, it's a I sham. Know. Sham. Not to get into pricing because you know obviously it's none of our businesses for pricing, but for general, um, the price for uh, minivans versus. SUV. Since I obviously I'm a I'm a single guy. I mm-hmm. I drive a sedan. What what are the prices? What, what are we looking into for prices for minivans versus SUVs versus uh, crossovers? A few. It's a lot lower for for, for minivans. minivans. Ma- mainly because I, I think of the economics of it because of the demand. Interesting. <laughs> because there uh, there there's going to be a, a big supply of vans, right? And mm-hmm. you know, young couples like us a lot <laughs> uh, a lot. Uh, a lot of a lot of young couples will be like, "Oh, I don't want the minivan. Give me an SUV. Give me the crossover." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the van will sit, and then the dealer will be like, "Oh, I guess we have to lower this price." And also, if you look at new uh, van prices, maybe if you get a tricked out uh, top of the line um, Dodge Caravan or a Honda Odyssey or Toyota Sienna. Maybe 30k, okay. whereas if you're starting off with a brand new uh, Yukon or a Suburban, 45, easily. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. So it's got a lower price point to start, and also it's got lower demand because, uh, like we talked about earlier, that uh, like 08 Suburban with 150,000 miles that are charging 15k, people still buy that and hmm. be like, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Nick, it's time for you to buy a van. Oh, Margaret's pajamas match the the tablecloth. I'm gonna say I can't see her. She is it's camouflaged. The camouflage. <laughs> Don't let her get that water. Yep. So right now Margaret is on the table and she's headed towards the mixer because there's a whole bunch of lights and knobs and buttons. Oh my goodness! She is. <laughs> now she's standing on the table. Standing on the table. She is on the ceiling, folks. I don't know how she's hey. how is she doing that. Margaret, what are your thoughts on the van? Hmm? Say something. <laughs> All right, she's got, got nothing. Uh, sweetie, closing thoughts on the minivan. I think we'll keep it. I like it. I love it. Uh, would you be open to, after this one ages out, to buying another minivan? Sure. Yeah. But then they'll be even cooler, right? Because we're kings of the road. Hov- they'll be hover minivans. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's bedtime. Bedtime for Bonza. Well, Say goodnight to the people. Your first appearance. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, Margaret. Night. <laughs> they just and now she's smiling. <laughs> All right, that's Margaret, ladies and gentlemen. Nick, this is exciting. There's a lot of firsts on this show. This is great. I'm a ton of fun. Good to see Crystal and little Muggsy. The, like, the reason we have a dad mode podcast Mwah. is because this little one. He's about to start working and getting a little one of my own. Blah, 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 blah. Mwah. This oh. is a good pod right now. As the wife of my child <laughs> smashes her through a wall, Hulk, Hulk style. No. Oh, man. Either way, I'm excited because it, it's like you always want a car that has like all the features, right? Mm-hmm. And this one was a fully loaded uh, one, one, uh, one driver car. So mm-hmm. this was bought brand new by a... Uh, by young family, mm-hmm. they treat it very well. They weather teched everything, you know, like the oh, wow, the, the fancy floor mats. <laughs> and you could tell it was very well maintained. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it, it's got it literally has 17 power cord plug in yeah, things. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it, it's about um, convenience. Uh, when you have children, it's not. You need some. You need you know your life as simple as possible to, you know, make things easier to uh, 
run a family and, you know, having a vehicle like a minivan, you know, that has those awesome sliding doors, you know, mm-hmm. you're not worried about doors flinging in and out, you know, you can get kids in and out, and, you know, get the job done. Yeah, and I'm pretty excited about the storage because uh, we talk about we have a, a hybrid Camry and the trunk space is limited because it's got the battery back there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as we opened up the, the minivan, it's like, oh. Oh my God! There's so much stuff in there. We go to Trader Joe's and Fresh Time in the same trip. <laughs> Separate trips. <laughs> yeah, I love that our big, our big shopping trips revolve around like high end grocery stores or like higher end cro- grocery stores. Definitely suburban, as opposed to the mall, which would be a more suburban thing. Outlet mall. <laughs> the outlet malls. Yeah. So, uh, what's coming up uh, from you, Nick? Besides buying a van, uh, would you ever buy a van yourself? Yes, yes, I would. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, the convenience of a van. To... It'd be easier for to, for you to get in and out because it's a higher vehicle, and your Hyundai is like uh, one of those little Shriner cars. <laughs> okay, this, uh, love Sonata. Thank you, Hyundai. I I, I do love my car. Um, but you if a brand I, new one day. <laughs> you know, as a big guy, I mean, you know, you know, minivans. You know, can fit big people, and um, yeah, I'm down the road, uh, starting a family. Yeah, I'd like to. I definitely wouldn't be against vans, and and they're not, you know, overly you know huge as like as we said a conversion van or something yeah. where I would have to worry about getting in and out of parking lots. You know, you know, squeezing into like you know little parking spots. Although Nick, I could see it being a spot where you uh, <laughs> all, right, all right, so you have the van, you take out the the back seat. You take you take out the two middle seats, and all of a sudden you're a single, thirty two year old guy driving very slowly because you're playing Pokemon Go in a van with no seats in the back. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the police is like, "Well, you know, we kind of been in hot water lately, and we shouldn't profile, but come on, <laughs> just put the cuffs on. Just just, just we're just fu- <laughs> We're just going. We're just going to go straight to the jail. No, the biggest yeah. giveaway would be if you didn't have the passenger seat. Like, if there's, <laughs> there's literally only one seat in that van. <laughs> All the play Pokemon Go. Yeah. How many Pokemon do you have? Uh, ironically, I just opened up the app just to check it out. Uh, currently, a hundred and six. Is that a lot? Uh, it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, how many are there total out there? There are, as of right now, I believe a hundred and hundred about a hundred. There's supposed to be a hundred and fifty-one different types of Pokemon. Yep. But uh, the the last four or five are supposed to be like the like ancient or the mythical one, the, like the expensive, like like the, like like the, the where do you think ones. they're gonna pop up? I, they're gonna let Pokemon uh, go. You know, they're gonna. This is just an early stage. The rumors are this is like. I've uh, my roommate said I think ten percent of the game is released right now. Mm. The the um, the game has a lot more properties that are going to come out um, over the year. So um, like the ability to are trade. any of them going to be more interesting? I think the trading thing is going to be <laughs> I because Pokemon I believe was supposed to originally supposed to be a trading card game, and mm-hmm. I think uh, they're going to try to somewhat make this um, this app tradable. Uh, you yeah. know, what bugs me the most. The boy's name is Ash. Oh. Which is probably short for Ashley. So he's probably a boy named Ashley. Maybe. Which is uh, it, which is a great name, but it's not a boy's name. It always strikes me as weird. A guy named Ashley? Yeah. Do you know anyone specifically named? I feel, a TV I know. Uh, I went to school with a, a guy who was named Ashley. And also, oh, in the NFL, there was a wide receiver who had a cup of coffee with the Broncos named Ashley Lee, who went to the University of Hawaii. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. So that is all. Minivans, great. Pokemon Go, eh. Ashley, poor choice for a boy's name. <laughs> that was a pretty good episode. Nick, what's coming up from you? Uh, let's see. I just released an episode on the Nick's Sun podcast about uh, Comic-Con was this past weekend, so I could talk a little bit about a lot of movies are coming out. Um, DC uh, Marvel stuff is uh, going to be big the next uh, year or two. And then I talked a little bit about uh, Game of Thrones. I'm um, trying to... Come, 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 Whoa. Game of you... Thrones. Uh, what was the one good trailer? Well, 
that came out of Comic Con this year? The one good one, in your opinion, or the best one? I'm a big uh, Sherlock fan, and uh, season four of Sherlock, they finally released like a a full size trailer Mm -hmm. for it. So um, it's getting me pretty excited for that to come out uh, next year Uh, because a lot of the people, you know, for Marvel and DC, a lot of movies. A lot of people know about already because, I mean, they released titles mm-hmm. a long time ago. And there were, like, trailers on YouTube already. But um, the trailers they released now were a little bit more complete. Oh, the one for Justice League, I did not know who the, the badass-looking long-haired guy was until I looked it up. It's Aquaman. Yeah. It's like, really? That's going to be Aquaman? All right. Do you watch... Uh, you never watch... You never got into Game of Thrones, right? No. Um, he's uh, He was an actor from season one. Is he Dothraki? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he actually. Is he yeah, the he main was, Dothraki? He was uh, he was the main guy uh, married to uh, Daenerys. Oh, is that the blonde chick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, he's uh, called Drago. Nice. No. That is all. Uh, so that's what's going out with Nick. Uh, if you want to support the show, tell a friend, spread the word about the Dad Mode podcast. We support minivans. We do not support Pokemon Go. Go straight. Whoa. It can go straight to hell. Whoa. Hey. Uh, show's available on iTunes and Stitcher. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, at DadmoPod. Me at Andy Carlson Show. Nick at Nickerson. That's right. That's Nick, right. Nickerson Go. Uh, the website is <laughs> DadmoPod.com. But until next time, be a man, be a father, and go Dad Mode. And we'll see you later. Think the episode you just heard is worth a dollar? Well, send it our way. Visit DadmoPod.com slash support to find out how. Be a man. Be a father. Go dad mode. The music is created and produced by Deeb. To hear more of his tracks, visit soundcloud.com slash Deeb.